Welcome back to another Geyser MC video. What is this like the sixth video I've made on Geyser by now? I've made more Geyser videos than times I've had s get the life nerd well today i'm going to be showing you how to install the geyser mc plugin on your bungee cord proxy the setup process is a little bit different than on a plain spigot server but don't worry it's pretty straightforward and i will explain everything in detail now before we begin make sure that you have a bungee cord proxy that works for minecraft java edition remember the simple principle that if something doesn't work for Java Edition, then it's probably not going to work for Bedrock either. I don't currently have a tutorial on how to create a bungee cord proxy, but there are dozens already out there. But if you're some sort of Crafted Croy snob like, I only watch Crafted Croy tutorials, then just leave a comment and I may get around to making a bungee cord video in the near future. Anyways, if you encounter any issues at all, feel free to pop into my Discord server where I can help you out, or you can also join the Geyser MC Discord. Both will be linked in the description below. All right, make sure to subscribe and let's get Geyser set up and ready to play. Okay, so the first thing that you'll want to do is head to the Geyser MC website. You'll want to click on download. So for the paper spigot, we'll want to download Floodgate. I know we're setting up bungee cord, but just track with me here. It'll all make sense in a bit. And then we want to head to the waterfall bungee cord and download Geyser. And also download Floodgate. Now that we got our geyser plugins, we'll want to head to the via version spigot page and we'll want to click on download now. And then optionally, you can go ahead and download geyser updater. I like this plugin because it allows you to update geyser automatically. So this plugin is good if there's a Minecraft bedrock update and you have like a million little kids yelling at you that they can't join your server. So this plugin will make it so you can automatically install the latest version of Geyser. I'm not going to show you how to set this plugin up, but you can use it if you'd like to. So first let's set up our bungee cord proxy. So in our file manager, we'll want to head into our plugins folder and I already have bungee guard. I recommend using this plugin. Like I said, I'm not showing you how to set up bungee cord, but if you guys want me to, then just leave a comment. So what we we'll want to do in our bungee cord is upload floodgate bungee and geyser bungee cord. You don't need via version on the proxy, but we need it on the spigot server, which we will get to in a second. So we'll want to start up our bungee cord proxy. And there we go. It's already done. And now we want to head back into our plugins folder. And inside of the geyser bungee cord folder, We'll want to go into our config.yml. There are also a couple other settings that you can change, such as command suggestions. I always like to set this to false because otherwise like Bedrock will freeze up when they try to execute a command. I also like to set the show cooldown to action bar because otherwise the title takes up like a whole lot of the screen. I also like to set force resource packs to false and this should be good. So we can go ahead and click save content. And now we want to head back to our plugins folder and inside of the floodgate folder, we'll want to click on the config.yml and we can send floodgate data. We'll set that to true. So this basically just tells the spigot server that they are a bedrock player. So it's important for plugins like cross platforms with those bedrock menus. So now we are all good to save this. And now we want to download our key.pem out of the floodgate folder. This is used for authentication. So then we want to head back into the geyser bungee cord folder and we'll want to upload the key.pem into here. There we go. And now we can head back to our console and restart our server. Okay, there we go. Our bungee cord server has started up. So now we'll want to head to our spigot server because we're all done with bungee cord proxy now. So inside of our spigot server, we'll want to head to our file manager, go into the plugins folder, and on our spigot server, we'll want to upload our floodgate spigot, and then our via version. And then once again, we have bungee guard on here. And now we just need to start or restart the spigot server. A few moments later. Okay, there we go. Our spigot server has started up. So now we'll want to head back to the file manager, back to the plugins folder. And now we see that the floodgate folder is there. So inside of here, what we'll want to do is upload that key.pem again. That's all we have to do. Now we just need to restart our server again. All right, so our spigot server is online. So now we are all good to join if you set everything up right. So what we can do is head to our bungee cord proxy and we'll want to type this address into Minecraft. So I'll go inside of Minecraft Bedrock here. 
Okay, so here in Minecraft Bedrock, we want to click on play, click on servers, scroll all the way to the bottom, click on add server, change the server name to whatever you want, change the server address to this IP part right here, and then our port will change to 25591, get rid of it from right here, and then click on save, and now we're able to join it. Okay, here we go. We are now on our server. It took a little bit to join, but we eventually got in. So yeah, here we are. And then if we wanted to, we could also join on Java edition. Here we go. So that's that's me right there. And then you can see I'm, I'm hitting me. So yeah, Java and Bedrock bungee cord. Look at that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching until the end. You are now an absolute gaming legend. I know that I said that this week I would be making a video on how to grow your Minecraft server, but how you got played by Crafted Croy, lol, nerd, dab on them, ah ha ha. But really, I just need more time to write that video, and a lot of people have been asking for this video. Anyways, make sure to check out my Minecraft servers, which people call the greatest Minecraft servers of all time. Make sure to subscribe and join my Discord for support. I don't know, I've said this stuff like a million times, you get it by now. Alright, I will see you guys on the other side, and as always, happy crafting.